pulled up just short. Now get it back. But the whistle's gone. Wales still attacking. Echigari with it. Puma's on their own line. Watch the offside. And eventually, <coughs> it's a penalty to the Pumas for offside, and they played that one very well indeed. Hector Silva with the ball, making the mark. And giving it a seat in the fullback. <coughs> and once again, against the wind, only able to find touch inside his own 25. Andy Morgan to the line out, Wales still behind, 6-5, main wearing up there, but lost it there to Echegare to darting along here the outside half, Morgan very nearly getting it, and play now outside the Pumas 25. Morgan to the line out, main wearing gets it beautifully, Turner to Bennett, to Dawes, to Ball, Ball beautifully taken there. <clears throat> by Pasquale and now it's doors pulled down again and now it's Travaglini one footed up to Bennett outside his own 25 he falls can't make the mark but it's scrambling play there over on the right doors going after it and the ball goes out of play well downside in the Welsh territory as, as um, Walter it is the right wing comes storming up <clears throat> Pumas Profiting there on Welsh mistakes and coming back to the attack with a will. But it was from such a position as this that Wales scored their try. Let's see what happens now. No, good possession there by the Pumas, but a fly kick by a Welsh boot puts a just inside the Welsh 25. 27 minutes gone, 6-5 to the Pumas. In the second half, Walter with a throw in, but Wales have it this time. Turner to Bennett. Bennett with a kick. Seaton underneath it, beautifully. Oh, very bad luck. Daniel's up on him, and he gets it out of play very well indeed. Daniel to the line out. Can Wales pull something out of the bag now? In the closing seconds of this game, well, the closing minutes anyway, up to Seaton, and Seaton this very good fullback. But now we're still inside the Welsh half. Daniel to the line out. And now it's Dave Morris with it. John Lloyd, Butler there, Daniel going back, but the referee's whistle is gone. And it was Raul Lajola coming up there. Clint Turner into the scrum. But the whistle goes. Echegari, this very nippy little Argentinian scrum half, has given Turner a very busy afternoon. Turner. Bennett, a difficult pass to deal with, but Dawes has it now. And that was number three there, Farina, calling for a mark and being awarded it. Farina with a kick, it's a Gary Owen, no it's gone out of play, as Travaglini came up, so did Brian Reese. inside the Welsh 25, three and a half minutes left for play and Wales have left it too late, one feels now, a lot of interference in the lineup. but now then, can they start another one from their own line, Dawes with a kick, it's gone a little bit too far, Seaton comes up beautifully inside the Welsh half, Left footed, finds a good kick, and Seaton's had a good game for the Pumas today. <clears throat> Just about three minutes left for play. If Wales are going to do anything, they've got to do it now. 
Back to Etchegare, he's in trouble and runs out of play and we'll have another line out. Morgan to the line out. Wales haven't been able to get it cleanly. Bennett has it. But the referee's whistle has gone yet again. He might have allowed the advantage there. One fields. Anyway, it's taken quickly now. To Bennett again. And to Bennett again, but it's ten yards back. They didn't retreat quickly enough. And now it's Turner again to Bennett. And are we going to have a little passing? Bennett in trouble. Gives it out to Hughes. Dennis Hughes well brought down there on his own ten-yard line. And Wales looking very indeterminate indeed at the moment. Can't really get going. And it's a penalty to the Pumas and just about two minutes left for play. Two minutes left for play. They're leading 6-5. They're going to take their time about this. And who can blame them as Seaton comes up to take the kick? And Seaton coming up now to see if he can make it 9-5. And by jingo, if he does, this crowd will get excited. It's not a bad try. It's a good one. And it's over. 9-5. And Argentina must surely have won this game now. Bennett with a kick. Well taken there by Hanley, the hooker. Inside the Puma half now. Wales must do something now. Here comes Daniel back. Daniel, well taken. John Williams is there too, and Daniel finds touch. This could be Cardiff Arms Park for the singing. And well, who can blame them? Rugby history could be made here today. Argentina leading Wales 9-5. And the great shout of Puma that you hear every now and again reverberating around this particular corner of Buenos Aires. And the referee has blown short of time, but it doesn't matter. It's a great moment for Argentinian rugby. They've beaten Wales 9-5. And the crowd storm onto the field. It's just like Cardiff Arms Park for the singing and the crowd storming on. Congratulations to the Pumas. They've beaten Wales 9-5. Well, with me I have the manager of the Welsh Touring Party in South America, Glyn Morgan. Your first reaction to the Pumas win, Glyn? Um, well, it would be idle for me to pretend that I'm not bitterly disappointed. Uh, having said that, I take nothing away from the Pumas, who surprised us by the... Uh, ferocity and the desperation with which they played. They are certainly a much more capable side than we had led to believe when we left home. What about the standard of the Argentine Rugby Union football? It's a lot higher than it's been, isn't it? Yeah, I don't pretend to know a great deal about the history of the Argentine rugby football, but they certainly play rugby football uh, very hard, very hard. They uh, lack the uh, depth of rugby football that perhaps we may have at home. But nevertheless, their methods are very effective and it's very difficult for a home country side to play against the tactics that they adopt in these games. Thank you.